ever wondered why that amazing bit of tech they use in games or an amazing system never made it into other games, like the Nemesis system in Shadow of Mordor? Some of them literally transform the game, and you wonder, why has nobody else used this? Do other gaming developers not play this game or know about it? Well, it turns out if the system is that good, it's probably been painted by the company, so no other gaming developer can use it without getting sued into oblivion, which has happened, and it is on this list. Now, Apex Legends' beautifully simplistic ping system is one example of a painted system, but interestingly, it was done for a good cause. EA took out a patent on the much lauded ping system in Apex Legends. Patents tend to be used by companies to protect innovations, but in this instance, EA has patented the system as part of its Accessibility Patent Pledge, an initiative that opens up accessibility-led patents to developers in a bid to encourage collaboration and drive forward accessibility in the video game industry. The ping system allows you to communicate with your teammates in Respawn's Battle Royale Hero Shooter by making points of interest, calling out the location of an enemy, and much more, as well as reducing in-game toxicity by offering an effective alternative to speaking over voice chat. The ping system also helps players with cognitive speaking and hearing disabilities. As you can see here, the patent filing gives a detailed rundown of the system. EA's EVP of Positive Play told GamesRadar in a recent interview that when you patent a technology or idea, you publish technical information that would otherwise have never been accessible to the public. And as such, this equips developers with know-how and it advances the state of art in game development. The Nemesis system, introduced in Middle-Earth's Shadow of Mordor and later refined in Shadow of War, put a refreshing and innovative spin on procedurally generated enemies. Instead of fighting nameless carbon copy foes, Shadow of Mordor pits you against various different members of Orc society and each and every one is unique to your playthrough. With their own names and ranks, every Orc you come across will remember your encounters to add more depth to the action. It quickly became a huge selling point and trademark feature of Monolith's action RPG series. Many have wondered why Social Vendetta's never made their way out of Mordor and into other games in the industry, and this, it would appear, is why. After several years of trying, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment successfully painted in the Nemesis system, meaning that the appearance of similar systems outside of games produced by Warner Brothers is very unlikely. In the medium, you take on the role of Marianne, who you control in both the real world and the spirit world in which developer Bloober Team calls dual reality gameplay. The screen is split in half, so you gain two different perspectives in both worlds. Ahead of the game's release, many were quick to notice that Bloober described this dual reality style as never seen before and officially painted a gameplay. As it turns out, Bloober filed a patent for this dual reality gameplay back in 2016. As you can see from the filing, the developer patented the method of simultaneous playing in single player player video games, where the key feature of the invention is the way of playing in a video game for a single player involving simultaneous controlling of several character avatars placed in several virtual realities that constitute separately presented story universes. Currently active until 2039, it does make you wonder what kind of blooper projects we might see using this style of gameplay in the future. One very prominent part of the Mass Effect experience is actually painted by the developer. BioWare requested a patent for the dialogue wheel or graphical interface for interactive dialogue used to select your responses back in 2006, which was officially approved a few years later. Still currently active, this might go some way to explaining why other RPGs that came after this date continue to present dialogue choices in a list form. The wheel interface that presents you with a selection of different responses went on to be used in the entire Mass Effect trilogy, as well as the more recent Mass Effect Andromeda, and also found its way into Bioware's other franchises in both Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition. With the advent of the PS5 and Xbox Series X, lengthy loading times are quickly becoming a thing of the past. But for years, we found ourselves staring at a loading screen as we waited to get back into the virtual adventuring. Perhaps one of the most famous and well-known patents just so happens to be related to loading screens. Back in 1995, Namco took out a patent for the use of auxiliary minigames during loading screens. The idea to keep players busy with a minigame while they waited for the main game to load was a novel one, with the likes of the classic arcade shooter Galaxian popping up during the loading screens for games such as Ridge Racer. There were some ways around the patent, with the likes of FIFA including some distractions in between matches, but for the most part, minigames rarely appeared to mitigate loading times. The patent eventually expired in 2015, opening up the door to include mini-games and loading screens to developers everywhere once more. 
You may vaguely remember that Crazy Taxi was rather helpful with a big green arrow that points you in the direction of your destination. Using this arrow as a guide, you try to take your customers to their location in the requested time. Sega filed a patent for this directional arrow feature in 1998. As of 2018, it has now officially expired, but before it did expire, Sega did sue another game over a green arrow. How dare they? It was Simpsons Road Rage that ran afoul of Sega for this infringement back in 2003. Don't! Eternal Darkness from developer Silicon Knights and Nintendo released on the GameCube back in 2002. Described as a psychological horror, the adventure included a sanity system which featured a meter bar. The meter depletes if your character stumbles upon an enemy or sees a gruesome situation. When this happens in-game, various effects occur on screen and around the environment to show the character is being affected by these encounters. Prior to the game's release, Nintendo filed a patent for a video game and game system incorporating a game character's sanity level that is affected by occurrences in the game. This patent expired in November 2021, so get ready for more sanity systems to start popping up, folks. Nintendo pioneered the design of the D-pad back in the 80s, and it was such a good design that it continued to form a part of Nintendo's consoles and handhelds throughout the years. Given its great design, it's not so surprising to learn that Nintendo patented its trademark multi-directional Switch. While the patent expired in 2005, it is interesting to consider how this patent might have influenced the design of button layouts for other controllers for consoles such as the PlayStation and Xbox when it was still active. Midway Amusement Games took out a now-expired patent with a rather interesting title back in 2000. It was called Unlocking Secrets in Video Games, and it was essentially a way to sell peripherals by locking game content that could only be accessed by using a particular controller. A video game system and method is provided which the enabled content of a video game depends upon the type of video game controller coupled to the video game console, the abstract reads. So, if you were to use a specific controller that's a matching type to the game you're playing, it would unlock extra features or secrets in-game that are not otherwise available. Additional pay-for content is nothing new in the world of video games, but just imagine having to buy a controller just to get your hand on more features and secrets. How annoying. So, what's your favourite video game painting? Is there any out there that you've heard about? Let us know in the comments below.